What's good? Y'all know who it is and y'all know what it is. Live from Malibu, California. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Matthew Shaq. And y'all know it's Cigar Tuck. Well, we talk about what's important when it comes to smoking cigars on the urban side of the street. You know what I'm saying? But today's cigar is the Gurkha Casket Blend. Let me spin this shit. The Gurkha Plastic. Plastic. The Gurkha Cast. What do you call it? Cast Blend. I can't even say that shit, man. All right, y'all can laugh y'all want to, but shit, try to say that shit fast. Uh, the thing about this Gurkha, man, this is a cigar brand that a lot of people have problems with, and I don't know why they have a problem with it, man. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, this is a cigar people say, some people say, hey, man, Gurkha's popping, and other people say, man, Gurkha ain't popping. Don't smoke it. Uh, but at the end of the day, man, we grown men and women over here, okay? We're brothers of the leaf, we're sisters of the leaf. We do what we wanna do. So I don't listen to nobody, I'ma taste it first. So we're gonna go ahead, cut them up. This is a uh, six by uh, 58 gauge. It is proprietary in regards to the binder and filler, but the wrapper is Habano. And we're gonna see what's popping off, man. So hold that thought, man, while I crack this open. All right, y'all, man, from opening tap, I can see why some people have a problem with it, man. This cigar is supposed to be a mellow to medium body, but it's definitely got a kick. You can taste the notes uh, of coffee espresso. You got, you got some of the cedar notes, but it's definitely got a spicy taste. It's, it's a spicy uh, off rip uh, noted cigar. So. Without, for me, and that's what that's what counts here because I bought them. I bought this shit. Okay, this right here. For me, if I didn't have my palate be how it is now, I would automatically throw throw this away and say, "Hey, man, this ain't for me, man." But my palate is way more complex than it used to be. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna smoke some more, man. You see the burn is. The burn is kind of running on one side. It's, it, it, it's running like like Usain Bolt, but we're gonna keep we're gonna keep messing with it, man. See what happens. See if it mellows out. A lot of times, man, you got to give a cigar a chance to mellow out, man. It hits you one way, and then you 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 ain't ready. Give it some time. Let's see what pops off. All right, man. See, this is why you have to try your own shit out, man. This cigar mellowed out more than a lot of cigars I've ever smoked, man. At the beginning, it was harsh, but then again, it was a perfecto. Those of you guys who don't know what that is, that means you gotta cut both ends. Uh, I recommend getting different type of cigars, man, so you change your routine up, man. Do different type of punches, do a V cut sometimes. Instead of doing a guillotine cut, you know, sometimes do a punch. Just try some different shit, but the cigar mellowed out so cool, man. It's a cool cigar once you get past that first initial uh, light up and that first initial situation, which was harsh as hell. It mellowed out, man. Even the burn has balanced out, man. That's what happens when you give things a chance, man. Sometimes that person who you swear on your life, you would never be able to get along with, you get a you get an opportunity to hang out, and next thing you know, y'all kicking it like like Bruce Lee. So let me go ahead and smoke a little bit more, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, it's a good cigar, man. It's cool, nice mellow situation. Those of you guys who have a problem with hard cigars in the beginning, make sure you have something tasty to drink. Get past that little first little initial uh, situation. And this will mellow out. This is cool, man. It's a cool cigar. It's not too strong. Uh, like I said before, uh, in the beginning, I had an issue with how harsh it was, but it is mellowed out. As you can see, it's burning well all the way around. The ash looks wonderful. The taste, the taste is cool. 
And uh, opportunity comes for me to smoke one of these things in the right situation with the right alcoholic beverages and this damn water trying to creep on me and shit. I ain't having it. Uh, it's cool. So go ahead, man. Try some different things, man. But as far as you guys who don't like it, man, hey, to each his own. Everybody has a right to their own opinion. All right, man. Love all y'all, man. Salute.